Hi there, Burger Libra. Welcome to your little quick message. Let's see what we have for you. Anything that wants to show up, we'll talk about it. And we're going to see. So I do have a new channel where I have uh, individual sign readings. Okay, so if this reading doesn't resonate or you want to dive deeper into your individual signs, um, then definitely go check it out. It's the Sunny Virgo Tarot. It will be in the little cards over there. But let's see here what do we have. We have a rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Crown, honor and respect will come to you. We also have barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money or goals. Vacation with a kite and claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. Okay, so I kind of get this feeling of you may have been working way too hard and you may need to slow down a little bit. Um, I feel like you are, it's, it's almost like you have permission to do that. You know, you have permission to rest, to take time for yourself, to, you know, connect a little bit more with what you, you truly desire. And I feel like by you doing that, it will allow you to feel more inspired. And it, uh, more than anything, I feel like it will allow you to see the direction to take next. Because uh, I really feel like there is this thing of like you're working you're putting a lot of effort on something and I feel like now it needs to breathe, you know? It, it's almost like, I don't know, it's almost like you've been working for a very long time on a product and then it's time for you to launch it and you may want to be there, like, I don't know, like sending it to every single person and um, making sure that everyone knows that you've just launched that product, but it's like, let let the product do its work, you know? There's a little bit of that vibe. Uh, but let's see here. We have uh, two of sorts. Yeah, I really feel like there is this feeling of... I feel like what you may feel that is lacking, I feel like it is motivation or direction. But I really feel like by you taking a break and by you breathing and, you know, focusing more on doing the things that light you up, doing the things that make you feel good and that make your inner child feel satisfied and happy and joyful. Those are the things that are going to inspire you and bring you the action and, and help you understand where you need to go. Okay. Um, I'm also getting for some of you, if this is about love, there could be a situation here that it's the less you put in the effort. I know this sounds very counterintuitive, but the less you put in the effort, the easiest it's going to be for this to actually happen. Because um, I feel like for some of you, you may be giving a little bit too much of your energy and things are becoming a little bit unbalanced because of it. All right. I also feel like there could be something around healing that you may need to do. Uh, that may be blocking you from that person, but um, I feel like overall it would be important for you to do some healing around why exactly am I feeling the need to control this so much? Why am I feeling the need to, um, I don't know, always be on top of things and why can't I let it go? Why can't I, you know, slow down a little bit and, and focus on something fun and lighthearted? Because like where focus goes, energy flows and manifestations go. And I really feel like there is this need for you to focus on things that make you happy and not so much on fo on things that make you feel anxious and maybe frightened or this thing of like, I need to control you because otherwise you won't happen. Focus on things that you know that inherently they are going to happen. You know, maybe there is this hobby that you really love, this uh, book that you really love and it's like, read it. You get lost in the moment and you just feel like, ah, oh, yeah, I feel relaxed, I feel good. Um, I feel like that will allow you to attach that energy also to this um, relationship, to this product, to whatever is happening here, okay? So I feel like the key here is really going to be focus on what feels good, all right? And that is going to influence the rest of your whole life. And maybe for some of you, you really love traveling and maybe it's time for you to take uh, some vacation time or for you to go travel. Maybe it's time for you to take a little weekend getaway, you know, and just exploring a city and just doing your thing. I feel like that is going to be very important for you. Let's see here what do we have in terms of advice. All right. So we have here white carnation devotion, be true and pure in thought and deed. We have bird of paradise, self-acceptance, you are so much more. And we have forgive me not, remembrance, memories in the past hold the key. So again, if this is about love, I would say that there is a little bit of healing here that needs to be done um, because I feel like you could be blocking love, um, even if you're unaware of that, but you could be blocking love with some fear of something. 
I don't know, of this honor and respect not coming to you, you know, of this person actually not being in line with you, and maybe you're wasting your time and energy. Um, there could be something that you may need to do a little bit around that. But I also feel like for the overall, I really feel like your inner child is screaming at you for you to take a break and have fun, okay? And because with this, like, devotion, be pure in thought and deed, I feel like if you focus too much on the results and you focus too much on... Um, you know, is this relationship going to lead to a commitment? Is this, um, is this product going to give me profit? Uh, profit, and it's is it going to be good? Am I going to be well known? If you focus too much on the results, and is this going to happen? I feel like you lose sight of why you were actually doing it. Of why do you want this person in your life? You know, why do you feel like they align with you? You know, and I feel like I really feel like there is this this need to just breathe you know, let go, have fun, all right, uh, let's see here, if this is about career, yeah, look at that, we literally have abundance coming through, and insecurity, see, I feel like, it's like, have enough trust and confidence in your product, in your work, in what you're doing, that it's like, it's undeniable that the un abundance is going to come to you, okay, there is this strong need for you to give yourself a little pep talk, and, and like, write a list of all the things why that product is amazing. Write a list of all the things that makes your work like one of a kind, okay? Because with this renewal, there is a big, especially with the recovery ha here as well, there could be a big uh, cycle that is shifting here where perhaps before things weren't really working for you and now they are, okay? But it, it does require a little bit of action from your side in the sense of remember your why, why you're doing it, why you, you love it, why, um, why you think it's good, okay? own that goodness and that i'm hearing majesty you know own the potential of that product of your work okay and focus there again where energy where focus goes energy flows all right um what about love this is about love yeah i really get this feeling Oop, oh goodness i really get this feeling of like we have trust we have free yourself passion it's like go with the flow baby because we even have here like bottom of the deck we have the fool and the king of cups so i really feel like there is a leap of faith here that is being taken um towards a very loving commitment towards you know you moving with your heart and feeling good about it and i don't think that you will regret it okay so when it comes to love i do see a lot of potential here for this connection but you do need to let it go you do need to go with the flow and enjoy it more than anything okay and again maybe focus a little bit on something else focus on having me time focus on having fun and going on fun dates focus on making memories you know we were talking about that memories in the past hold the key focus on creating good long-lasting memories and the rest will follow okay it's like i, I feel like this whole reading is essentially telling you you're doing exactly what you need to do you are on the right path everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to and things are going to happen in a more in a much more beautiful way than you can ever imagine okay so trust all right easier said than done but uh, really try to look at why why do you want this person in your life why is this product good and again focus on you focus on doing things that make you feel good okay so virgo libra um this is what I have for you. I hope, and now that I, you know, sometimes I forget that what, who I'm doing this reading for, you know, because I'm channeling, so I kind of get lost in the reading. And now it was just like Virgo Libra. Oh, okay. And I feel like the, I feel like you're using both signs of your cusp, but I feel like you're using it in a unbalanced way. You know, you're using the, uh, there's a word for it. It's, it's not the toxic side of the cusp, but you're using the unbalanced unaligned side of the cusp uh which is the virgo the perfectionism and maybe that need for control the libra side of also wanting everything to be perfect but the need to have things to be fair and i want this to be this way and i feel like it is time for you to kind of turn things around a little bit libra focus on the beauty virgo maybe meditate a little bit more ground yourself a little bit more do things that make you feel beautiful, do things that make you feel aligned and protected and peaceful, okay, so yeah, but this is what I have for you, I hope it resonated, I hope it helped, uh, definitely smash like button for me, and don't forget to, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, um, but yeah, don't forget to check out your individual signs as well, and I actually think you're both, 
signs are already up or they are going to be but uh yeah and with that being said if you're interested in pick a cards you can also check out the bird's nest tarot and uh for pro readings the link is going to be down below as always uh my god words words has well has my patreon where we have self-care uh content and twin flame readings okay so love you very much wish you the best and i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.